Well, moving on, it is a shocking story to say the least that surfaced yesterday as the nation was in the midst of a financial meltdown in 2008. Employees at the Securities and Exchange Commission, who were supposed to be the watchdogs in all of this, were surfing for pornography while on the clock at the agency, some for as much as eight hours a day. Uh, their inspector general's investigation lasted five years, found 33 employees that violated commission rules and policies. Senator Chuck Grassley, who requested the memo that made all of this public, uh, is on the phone with us right now. Senator, uh, how in the world could something like this have happened? This is almost like uh, you couldn't make it up. This isn't the first time I've run into this in the federal bureaucracy a few years ago at the National Institute of Health. And you know what I think it boils down to? Supervisors aren't supervising, but in this case, it appears that some of the people that are doing it are the supervisors. But uh, there is uh, a serious waste of taxpayers' money, serious uh, waste of time that could be better spent on what they're hired to do. And uh, it, it's just simply, if people want to do unethical, and as far as I'm concerned, even immoral things, they ought to do it on their own time and not the taxpayers' time. Well, I, and I take your point about supervisors, but even supervisors have supervisors. And the question I had as I read this is that uh, some of these people for up to eight hours were downloading pornography. <clears throat> it seems to me that somewhere along the way, uh, that guy's boss would have noticed he wasn't doing anything. And uh, that's the astonishing part, that this could go on and, and people just uh, apparently didn't even notice. Well, it's part of the culture of a lot of bureaucracies to, to not uh, push to get jobs done, to make sure that the taxpayers' money are spent wisely, and, uh, and changing the, uh, the environment in some of these uh, agencies. It's very, very difficult, but it's got to be hard-nosed. And, you know, it, it only really gets corrected when heads roll. Now, I understand that one of these guys is fired, but I wonder if that's enough. Uh, people not doing their job, uh, if, if heads don't roll for any reason that something's wrong, it doesn't really make much of a point. Well, I'm sure there's some very good people that work over in that agency, as there are in all agencies, but I have to say the, uh, the uh, SEC put out a press release today, and it, it makes me wonder, do they get it yet? Uh, you know, first rule in PR is always say, well, it's an old story. Well, I notice here uh, that uh, in the first line of the press release, it says, as was first reported in the media in February, as if uh, all of this is old news. Well, of course it's not old news. And then we see another thing that says, uh, each of the offending employees has been disciplined or is in the process of being disciplined. Well, this was five years ago. They're still in the process of disciplining people. Uh, disciplining people. Does this mean that they didn't do any discipline, uh, disciplining until uh, all of this came out. Uh, and then it also goes on to say uh, we should not let uh, the uh, transgressions of a very few bring discredit to the many good workers who are there. Uh, I'm not sure they're taking this seriously. They say the names of these people will not be disclosed. Why shouldn't we know their names, Senator? I think uh, the public that's paying these people's salary might want to know who these people are. Well, you yeah, absolutely. Uh, the public's business ought to be public. You've heard me say that many times. Transparency in government is what brings accountability. And if future employees or present employees knew that they do something wrong, it might ruin professionally by their name getting out, there'd be a lot more caution. But also in this explanation you just read, uh, it appears to me the standard bureaucratic answer that uh, that really uh, it, nothing's wrong. Now, I agree with them that uh, a few bad apples shouldn't ruin it for everybody else. But it's the agency's responsibility and the people in control of that agency to make sure that that's true. And then uh, lastly, it seems to me that uh, when heads roll, you, you make a point. And then with excuses as they have in that press release, uh, it, it reminds me of uh, people not owning up, uh, by, by not owning up and admitting something's really wrong, and it's not old news, even if it is old news, 
you get more egg on your face. So you might as well come clean from the very beginning. All right. Well, Senator, um, uh, appreciate you bringing this to our attention. And let me also ask you this. What do you do next on this? Uh, what am I going to do next? I'm going to follow up uh, to, to make sure that inspectors general, because right now one of the key points here in this whole thing is the inspectors general doing their job. we got to strengthen inspectors generals and make sure that inspectors generals are very independent of the heads of the agencies and that they can do their job and get the information and get to the bottom of things. So I think uh, my ongoing support of Inspector General is number one. Number two, I'm going to follow up and and make sure that we uh, 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 that discipline is carried out. And maybe just discipline isn't enough. Maybe there's more people that need to be fired. All right, Senator Chuck Grassley. Thank you so much. Okay. Goodbye. And I think I misspoke there when I said this happened five years ago. It happened in 2008.